Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. Free pick in college basketball in this report. Uh, first quick note before we jump into everything, if you're not yet a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. And again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. We'll get to that college play in just a moment. It has been a tremendous college basketball season. As you know, if you've been with me all, all season long, uh, we cashed again Sunday, we cashed again Monday. Four-star play last night, it was on Wyoming, start to finish, wire to wire blowout for the most part, as they whipped the Air Force Falcons. And we are now up over $4,500 for $100 per unit betters, going back all the way to the second day of the season with our college basketball sides. And with five-star plays and up, those high-end plays were hitting 65% for the entire season. I've got a six-star going on Tuesday. It's my lone college basketball premium play, and it is a six-star play on Tuesday's card. And we'll look to extend that 65% season-long run. We'll also look to go up over $5,000 for $100 per unit betters with my college basketball sides. Uh, no NBA for me on Tuesday. There are only two games. I don't like either side or total. In fact, we've only got one video for Tuesday. Uh, due to that fact, and then we'll be back on Wednesday with two videos with plenty of both pro and college basketball to choose from. As far as everything else, I do have soccer on Tuesday, daytime action. Uh, it is a plus money play, and we are up over $2,100 on our current soccer run, so you want to jump on board there. And after cashing Carolina in the NHL on Monday, we've got a four-star NHL play going on Tuesday's card, available over on my homepage at DocSports.com. So a lot going on, and then of course Thursday will be our football release time. We'll talk a little bit more about that on Thursday's video. I do have a seven-star play going this third, or going this weekend in the NFL and the conference championships, which, of course, again, I'll talk more about on Thursday's slate. And by the way, looks like we're going to have a big play going in the NBA on Wednesday. We'll talk a little bit more about that on Wednesday's report. But for Tuesday, again, the star of the show, six-star play college basketball as we look to extend that 65% high-end winning run since day one of this season. Wanted to mention also, I'll talk a little bit about this on Wednesday, uh, but the UFC is in midweek action on Wednesday. Uh, we had a play on Saturday, but it was canceled. We had Haas, and it was canceled the day of the card, but we look to be back in action on Wednesday's UFC card from Abu Dhabi. All right, let's get to the free play for Tuesday, looking at college basketball action, and I am recommending a play on Duke on the road, minus a couple of points, about two and a half to three points as I cut this video. Duke on the road over Pittsburgh, and listen, I've only been involved with the Dukies once this entire season. It was early in the year, and we backed Illinois, excuse me, plus the points over Duke, and Illinois rocked them outright 83-68. to 68. Now, despite the fact that Duke isn't winning games at the rate we're used to with this program, the fact is their metrics are still fine. Uh, their adjusted efficiency on both offense and defense ranks 27th and 39th, respectively. Uh, they have a weak I guess you could say shot or weak accuracy numbers when it comes to three-point shooting, but I think they're going to be fine here because that's not something they want to do. They want to put up the two, and when you look at Pitt on the other side, it's a situation where they can't shoot threes. They're 260th in college basketball, and they're not all that great from inside the arc where uh, they hit less than 50% of their twos, about 49.7 to be exact. They're 231st as far as their uh, efficiency with field goal percentage on the offensive end are the Pitt Panthers, and I think Duke, with the return of Jalen Johnson, who, by the way, only got three or four minutes against Va Tech, but as he gets his feet wet and gets acclimated back to playing again, he's probably going to get a good 10 to 15 minutes and add depth. He's 6'9", he's a big body also, and I think he'll be a bit of a difference as far as just being able to come on the floor and spell some guys and put another big body on the defensive end against Pitt. Listen, the number's two and a half, three. I power rate this two and a half points higher than it is, and so we're going to recommend a play on the Duke Blue Devils on the road, minus the points. Pit off the big sweep of Syracuse, but I think they come back to earth a bit in this one. Duke is the free play, and uh, also don't forget, star of the show for me, six-star play in Tuesday's college basketball on my homepage at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put Tuesday in the win column.